take an early morning ride with your pals. And buds, right, Spirit? <laughs> Thanks for the invitation to join, Lucky. <sighs> Abigail, weekends are for sleeping in. Not when there's a bad storm the night before. We have to make sure all the animals are okay. <gasps> what is it, Abigail? Did you hear something? <gasps> it's okay, little lady. Her leg is hurt. We have to get her back to the animal care center quickly. Can someone go get the sled? Lucky and Spirit should go. They're the fastest. Don't worry, sweet girl. We'll get you all fixed up and back in the woods in no time. She wants to be a vet. She's kind of an animal whisperer. I couldn't find Dr. Cope, but I got the sled. Daphne, can you please help me lift her? I would be delighted to. There may be more animals that need our help. Then some of us should stay and search the area. Bibi and I could do that. We've come a long way since the Frontier Phillies Jubilee. It's okay, Pudgy. Let's set her down on the examination table. Oh. Has anyone seen my smock? Abigail, you're wearing it. Right. Okay, next I need to diagnose the injury. No, wait, check the heartbeat. Oh, I can't remember. <sighs> What's wrong, Abigail? You were so confident in the woods. The woods is easy. That's what I know. The animal care center is new. And I just don't want to mess anything up without Dr. Cope being here. Abigail, you are more than capable of helping this fawn. Lucky's right. You're the best person for the job. Really? And you've already gotten her to trust you. Unlike my English Mastiff back home. Talk about trust issues. It's time to get Fawny back on her feet. Fawny? Is that the name we're going with? It sure with? is. You've got a nice, strong heartbeat, little one. <laughs> the noise! It's upsetting her. Can you two feed the other animals while we make this blend? No problem. Pudgy, no! Uh-oh. Abigail, what do we do? Crew, stick out your arm. Now, get the bird seat from the top of Pudgy's cage and fill his bowl. Lucky, make a trail of carrot pieces that lead back to the bunny cages. Carrot pieces, cages. Got it. Her leg isn't broken, but it is badly sprained, and there are surface wounds. We'll need to dress those and then apply a splint for support. My mom would be really proud of you, Abigail. Lucky, can you please find Mixley's healing journal? It should be around here somewhere. Found it! <laughs> Silly me. Look for the entry on Yarrow. Yarrow, Yarrow, Yarrow. Your notes say it's used to... Stop bleeding, heal wounds, and prevent infections. Perfect. Now to clean the area. Hold her still. This might sting a bit. It's okay, little lady. Shh. That's better. And now to apply the splint. Voila! Bonnie is on the mend. And her recovery pen is ready. What happens to the splint once her leg is healed? Dr. Cope says it should eventually fall off as the tape loses its adhesiveness. The sooner an injured animal can return to the wild, the better. Whew! That was thrilling! We should go check on Bibi and Ursula. They might have found more animals that need our help. Come on, let's go. You coming, Abigail? I'll catch up with you later. I'm not ready to leave Bonnie yet. Uh, Abigail? <laughs>